audio. It's a very interesting thing, especially for streams. So if you want your audio to sound like mine does and how we can make it go from this to this, stay tuned. So your audio is very important when it comes to streams. Um, a lot of people worry about quality, about video. I'm more of, personally, I'm more of an audio guy. Um, I like hearing things. Because most of the time when I'm watching a stream, I'm not watching too much. I'm listening. So if someone has a really hard mic and it's really, really sounds honestly awful, I would rather just go to the next person. And that might just, you know, might just be me. But I want to help you with your streams and help you figure out the best thing, the best way, and using plugins from Reaper to make your streams sound awesome. So let's go ahead and go right to the computer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that you already know um, how to get to your filters and all that stuff with OBS. Um, it's very easy to do. Um, there's a ton of videos on how to get to them, and I'm also going to go ahead and shout out Nutty for this um, specific way. But I've tweaked what he's done to better suit what I need it to do. Um, I am an audio engineer. Let me preface this. I'm, uh, I'm an audio engineer. I'm an audio mixer. Uh, I also do sound design and all that stuff. So hopefully what I tell you is going to be nice. Um, if you look in the description below, there's going to be some Reaper um, filters that you're going to have to download. Reaper is free. I also highly suggest downloading the entire software because uh, it's a very, very cool software. Um, but you don't need it um, for OBS. Um, so basically, what you're going to do is you're going to um, you're going to go to you're going to get everything downloaded. You will have to restart your computer, restart it, bring up OBS, bring go to your mic, turn on your filters, and then you'll see this little menu pop up like this. Now, the first thing you want to do is I'm going to turn all these off for now. Um, everything you need to just not worry about. In fact, I'm going to delete this because I don't even use it. Um, I use reverb and echo for fun. You don't need them. So first we're going to do is we're going to start with noise suppression. So what noise suppression does is I have a computer that's right here next to me. I mean, it's right beside me. And it has a fan, so of course it's going to be making noise. That's just what they do. Um, and so noise suppression is better for stuff like that. Now, if you have people that are in your house talking and and maybe there's like a lawnmower outside and all that stuff, you're going to want to use noise gate. Um, and if you're having to do noise gate, uh, you might want to look at sound treating your area first before you worry about everything else. Um, because a better soundproofed room is going to create a better sound in your microphone and your audio quality. So keep that in mind. Noise suppression, computer fan. Noise gate, louder than a computer fan. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with noise suppression, which is the Refer standalone plugin. I have a lot of plugins. You're not going to have near as many as I have. Open plugin interface. So as of right now, you can see it's moving up and down because I'm talking. But what you do is you're going to click over here to subtract mode. And you're going to click subtract mode. Now right here, there's an automatically build noise profile, which is the sound of your room. What you want to do is you want to be as quiet as possible. Don't move. Don't click your keyboard. Blah, 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 blah. Don't do any of it. And we're go what we're going to do is we're going to click automatically build noise profile. And we'll be quiet. So here we go. and then uncheck it. So as you can see right here, that is your noise profile. So I have a little bit of low end, which is the rumble from the computer itself. So what that does is that gets rid of that frequency to make your sound clear. Simple enough. It's literally simple enough. Close out of that. Next thing we're going to move on to is we're going to move on to EQ. EQ, we're going to click re-EQ, standalone, open plugin interface. Now, n here's where it got different between me and Nutty's videos. Nutty had a 10 band EQ. I don't work with that um, unless I'm mixing guitars, drums, keyboards, stuff like that. Voice, not so much. Well, not in a setting like this. If I'm doing vocals for a song, then yes, I will use, actually, I'll use like a 20 band EQ. Um, but for this, no. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll have all these settings 
down in the description below. Um, but if you want to just go through, so low shelf will be your band one. I have that set at 91.1, 10.8, 0.95 low shelf band two is just band at 360.7 negative 1.8 and two for band now we're going to go three 945.2 negative seven and a half and two and then four high shelf 6296.5 6.9 and then two now that is going to be something that you're really going to have to play with just because of the fact that everyone's voice is different. So my voice is not like your voice and your voice is not like my, my voice. If you have a really deep tone that's normal, you might want to take that first one, which is your low shelf, and dial it down just a little bit so that rumble is kind of out of the way. Next, I'm going to go to compression, recomp, standalone. I'll let you um, kind of... You'll, this is another one you'll kind of have to tweak on your own. Um, so I have, we'll just go through the settings here. I haven't changed anything in here uh, at all. So you got 0, you got 3, 50, 1.0, 3.0, 11,000, 110, and 36.0. And like I said, this is going to be something you're going to have to tweak. You're going to have to move these around, you're going to have to move these around. Um, it just really depends on your situation itself. So, like I said, every voice is different. The way that you talk is different. If you talk kind of quietly, you'll probably want to bump this up a little bit. If you talk loud, then you don't want it to peak, so you're going to have to bring it down. So keep that in mind. Next. Actually, that's it. That's actually it at all. Uh, next is Reverb and Echo. If you want that, uh, I highly recommend Tal Reverb. It's free, easy to download easy to use and it makes your stuff sound really really cool so that's where we're at with that so that's it for my settings of OBS uh, with audio filters I hope that this helps if you have any questions please feel free to leave um, a comment down below like I said I am an audio engineer I can help you and I will see your comment um, so I really do hope that this helps everything that you need to have a better stream have higher quality audio and like I said, shout out to Nutty for his take on everything. Definitely check out his stuff. Um, I just went a different way than he did, and that's totally fine. Everyone has their own preferences. But I hope you have a wonderful day, and keep your audio clean, all right? Keep it clean. Peace out.